I think in terms of CNG investment, look, the, the great thing about all the MEMO members, they've got an infrastructure. And we're used to getting product to the last mile, yeah, to the final user of the, of the product. So it's, it's ba basically making sure that we use that infrastructure that's there to get to the end user of it. Yeah? Now, in that whole process, of course, you need to invest. Yeah? Uh, you need to invest in, in your depot uh, or in your receiving facility. You need to invest in your trucks. You need to invest in your retail sites. Now, and all our members are saying, okay, how can we become efficient in, in doing that? Now, some of them will go fast, some of them will go a little bit slower, but that's normal in life. Yeah? So, so Double One is, is making uh, some moves. Uh, we are, as, as NPC Retail, making moves. And other ones are now also making, starting to make that move. So, but the great thing is we already have an infrastructure. We're already close to the consumer. They already know us. So basically what you do, you add on something that's already existing. Now, that won't be possible on every site, because like LPG, uh, there's a certain, a certain requirements from a regulatory point of view. But the great thing is we're already there to be able to invest uh, where it makes sense. So I think the uh, look, investments always make, um, will always have an economic reality. Yeah? So my argument is the CNG case has been made yeah? and, and, and you will see some investment in that which, where it makes financial sense. Yeah? Uh, same for renewables like biofuels. or uh, yeah, there, there is, of course, where it makes sense, the, these investments will be done. Um, the infrastructure will be there. So if you take, for instance, the Ngota refinery, They've got the, the ability to take ethanol in. No? So, and this is all with the anticipation that there will be a moment where it makes sense to blend uh, ethanol into, into PMS potentially. So I think these, and, and, and actually there's a great thing around, uh, of course, ethanol. You can, we can produce it locally. Yeah? You don't need to import it. There's enough aerial for agriculture in Nigeria to both supply food to the people but also provide basically basic feedstock like a cassava, sugarcane for the ethanol industry. So there's, there's actually an opportunity in the whole value chain and uh, including renewables to make investments work and make it, make it pay, pay back the investment that's been done.